Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Inside this video, I'll show you how to balance music and vocals using Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we are. I've got some uh, vocals, first of all, some dialogue on my video. And here's my old place of work behind me, Global Radio. So there's plenty we can do with this. Now, obviously, when I start to put a backing track underneath, let's just place this one underneath now, start it playing. And here's my old place of work behind me, Global Radio. Radio really difficult to hear what's being said. It kind of takes away from the message, doesn't it? That's why it's so important to balance your music out with your vocals and ensure that the most important parts of your video can be heard. And that, of course, is the speech. So let's first of all go over into our audio workspace inside Premiere and let's label up these tracks. So first of all, this track here, I'm going to select it, is our dialogue track. And that gives us plenty of options here. And this track over here is our music track. So let's start off with the music track and we can zoom in a little bit more and also expand out maybe these audio tracks so we can really see what's going on. So there's the dialogue and there's the music. I'm just going to actually bump this along so that my speech comes in just about the moment that the beat drops on the track. Let's wind this back a bit so we've got some extra um, sort of video rolling in before I start to talk. Still cannot hear what I'm saying. So back over to selecting the music and we've got a ducking option here. This is an auto ducking option that works automatically when we tick it based on dialogue duck against dialogue clips, which is really, really handy. Now, of course, you can set this up how you wish the sensitivity of it, how much to duck by in decibels and also how quick those fades should be. Um, I'm probably going to tweak this a little bit um, and I'm going to change the fades to be a little bit shorter and quicker. So let's move that down to around 180 milliseconds. Sensitivity will leave in the middle. Duck amount will leave maybe push it up a little bit to around minus 13 dB. And then we've got to generate those keyframes and you'll see boom down there. There are the keyframes. There's the ducking going on. Let's have a little listen to the audio now. And here's my old place of work behind me. Global radio used to be That's good. radio when I worked for them. Now, as you can hear, it has uh, faded the music up there when I stopped speaking, but rather too harshly. So uh, let's make the sensitivity a little bit lower, regenerate the keyframes. You can do this as many times as you want or push it higher, generate keyframes. Everything goes down. So we've got to kind of find this sweet spot. Uh, and that's looking pretty interesting. Radio used to be capital radio when I worked. OK, that's still a little bit, little bit too wonky. So we're going to move this down a little bit. Uh, and generate the keyframes again until we get a nice sweet sort of ducking sound there. Thank you, Licked, for sponsoring this video. You can go and check them out and download the track uh, that I was using in this video. It's available in my collection, which I'll link below this video. Loving You Is Easy by Camo and Crooked is the track I'm using. You should really go and check them out. They have plenty of music. It's all claims free for YouTube, meaning you get access to charts and popular music that's copyrighted and you don't have the fear of a copyright claim on YouTube. Thanks to the wonderful people at Licked. You can sort by mood, by genre, any style, any song that you're looking for to use in your videos. Your first song license is free, so make sure to grab it today using my link. And also using that link, you get 50% off your next track order from Licked. So get it now at mrc.fm forward slash licked and thank you licked for sponsoring this video what we're also going to do is we're going to go over to the dialogue track and we're going to increase the clarity using dynamics this is essentially compressing the voice to make it sound louder let's listen to the difference six floors of radio stations studios music power so you can really hear what's being said as i push the clarity dynamics up uh, again we can put some eq on and the best for this is well we've got subtle boost female and male I'm going to go for the subtle boost male voice. Floors of radio stations, studios, music out. You can also enhance the speech for a male. Uh, DJ. Let's listen to that now. This is my old place of work behind me, global radio. Now that might be a little bit too compressed. I'm going to bring the dynamics down just a tad. This is my old place of work behind me, global radio. You and you can also go ahead and do lots and lots of other stuff here. There's a repair function here. So we can hear there is some chatter in the background. There's a queue of people waiting to get into the cinema there. Uh, let's see if we can reduce the noise a little bit. Let's move this up. And here's my old place of work behind me, global radio. It used to be capital radio when I... Okay, that's great. Although that music is just... Poof, it's just going up a little bit too high, isn't it, uh, when the fades are coming back up. So let's actually go ahead and uh, 
balance and even that out. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is click back to the music track. Uh, I'm now going to take this track and uh, let's actually switch off the ducking for a moment. Let's move this track down in volume just a tiny bit. I'm grabbing the line here, moving it down. Six floors of Still pretty loud there, so let's move that radio down. Radio station, studios. That's looking pretty good. Uh, so then switch this back on, generate those keyframes again. Here we go. And then if we want, we can also alter those keyframes. So we've got something like this. So we've got something that really fits in with the rhythm and mood of the video. So let's start from the start and have a listen. Here's the intro bit. And then I come in. Here's my old place of work behind me. Global Radio used to be Capital Radio when I worked for them. Six. So you can hear how it just fades up just a tiny bit. And if you're not happy, if you think the duck amount is too much, you can always move this up in amplitude uh, to zero dB, essentially doing nothing. But all the ducking is available for you here. All the options to enhance the speeds. Uh, all the options to enhance speech are available in the dialogue bit uh, with reducing noise of the stuff in the background, dynamics, EQ, clarity. You can go into further detail as well, if you like, by popping open this little triangle on the mixer. And here on audio track one, my speech, we can go and add on some of our own effects, like, for instance, the parametric equalizer is one of my favorites. Uh, and I can double click that effect now. I can add a high pass filter to roll off any bass. And here's my old place of work behind me, global radio. I can then also, if I'm not happy with the clarity of this voice, I can use the parametric EQ to enhance the high ends. Let's do Here's that. Here's my old place of work behind me, global radio. And I can actually have a ball with this by scanning through frequencies uh, like so. So let's make this notch smaller, 16 here on the Q width, and we'll just scan through. It used to be Capital Radio when I worked for them. Six floors of radio stations, studios, music power, DJ. And you can pull it in and out different frequencies as well. So much you can do inside Adobe Premiere. A pro to balance out the music and the dialogue. I hope this gets you started. Let me know how you get on in the comments to this video. Music Radio Creative.com